Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, and I'm sitting with uh, Annie Ardant and um, Marion Bernot, uh, the director and star of Les Bougeurs, Les Bougeurs uh, Bright Days Ahead. That's right. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure to sit here with both of you. Thank you very much. Um, I guess if you could first tell me uh, what was the origination of Bright Days Ahead and perhaps how you uh, got Fanny on board. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, at the beginning, it's um, a proposition made by, uh, by producers. They, they had, um, this novel, which is from a young writer, Fanny Chanel, and um, they asked me to adapt it screen and I thought uh, the subject was very good and uh, so I, I did it and um, and then I the, the main reason why I I wanted to do it it was because of the character of the woman in the novel was so rich and, and interesting and then uh, I thought I thought uh, that uh, Fanny which is rich and complex, mm -hmm. <laughs> could be a very good ca Caroline. Yes, yeah, you do make an excellent Caroline. <laughs> um, it's, uh, um, I want to say that there's not a lot of films uh, like this in the US. Um, uh, France, Europe in general, it seems to be uh, uh, actresses have much uh, greater parts and chances in, uh, for leads. So. Um, I think the closest equivalent I've seen in the States is probably something like if It's Complicated with Meryl Streep. Yeah, which well, I mean, it's not exactly no, the same. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not the same at all. Levi Vizky? No. Which is, I think, Meryl Streep in. It was fair. Les dix points le titre, parce que j'ai un peu. It's complicated. C'est un peu le même sujet. And this is obviously much more complex, yes. um, much more realistic. With it's much more complicated in my story. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, very, very much so. But um, uh, how was uh, it working, Fanny, with uh, Laurent Lafitte? You have very great chemistry with him yes. in the film. Yes, he's a great actor, he has a great sense of humor, and uh, I feel well with him, and uh, I had no problem at all. Even for the most complicated scene, or um, I, I must say, that as soon as I said yes to Marion, I trust her, and I know that she loves the actors, and that when a director loves the actors, uh, trusts them, it's easier to. I mean, it's not so important anyway. Um. And you actually have another film at the Toronto Film Festival. You have a brief appearance in uh, The Great Beauty. Ah, uh, no, but... La Grande it's a cameo. Ballets, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I have like a, a ghost passing, passing through. through. Yes, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, but you worked with him before. You, had a, you were in Il Libo. Yes, because I know him. Okay. And every time, as a drugged man, he asked me, <laughs> Fanny, can you come and make a scene with me? Well, no, let's see. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not at all in a professional way. Okay. And always he is as this a fetish uh, actor called Tani Servilla. But already on the diva, I made this part. And uh, La Grande Bellezza. So it's like a complicity. Right, okay. I, I get that. It. Um, I. As soon as I saw you, of course, it's very arresting. It's like, what was she doing? Wait, because <laughs> I, I, I thought I say I never get paid, and I don't want to have my name on the brrr, comment dit générique, the uh, uh, <laughs> you know the credits, the huh? credits. The credits. The credits. Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, it's like I was, uh, you know, like a friend, uh, the grandma was coming. Ah, I see some, <laughs> I see some light. I, I was coming to me at the fever to. Uh, um, Bright Days Ahead it actually reminded me a lot of a, a 1950 film with Ingrid Bergman called Goodbye Again. Have you never familiar? It's Ingrid Bergman and Yves Montand and Anthony Perkins, oh. and she's caught between her husband, Montand, yes. and her oh, younger yeah. lover. Who, who is the director? Um, Goodbye Again. Goodbye Again. It's, it's a beautiful title. I don't remember the director at the moment, but I saw it a few months ago. Um, Yves Montand. 
Perkins. Uh, yeah, Yves Montand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Anthony Perkins and Amy okay. Bergman. It's, she's going through some different issues in that, but the um, the three way kind of triangle is about the same and yeah. handled with the same kind of complexity and maturity. But it was the same uh, departure, but it means that uh, the character of Ingrid Bergman was on the point to leave everything, to right. leave the job, like a middle age, and uh, going towards uh, oldness? Yes. Well. Yeah. Um, so, I'm sure it, were, it was not an American movie. No, it was not. No, it was set in, um, I think Diane Carroll even has a small part. Of it. It's set in Paris, I believe. Yeah, it's not American. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Find out. Yes, yes. It, see it, it's very good. Um, which brings me to, uh, uh, obviously you're an icon, and you uh, have worked with some of the greatest directors to have ever lived, and you brought up the word fetish, um, and I think perhaps earlier in car- your career people might have, like a fetish for Truffaut, uh, almost in his films. Um, now, uh, further along, do you have a preference for working with male or female directors? Is there? Do you notice if maybe you don't even notice the difference? But no, uh, every time when they ask me um, what is the difference to be directed by a woman, I say ah, it was a woman <laughs> because, <laughs> because for me it's much more important to speak about a human being quality qualities from a human being, and sometimes to be a man or to be a woman, the feminist corporation will not be happy with uh, what I'm going to say, but. Uh, I don't think, I think it's very, very restrictive. You understand the word mm-hmm. restrictive? Yes. Yeah. Cinema de femme, woman cinema, yes. we will never say cinema d'homme. Right. So uh, for me, directed uh, acting with women or men, no, it's like a big boat and <whistles> we, are go, we go. But what can I say about my point of view of being a director? There's certain actress uh, who prefer to be looked by a man because they think they are look like uh-huh. um, um, with much more love, which right. is, I don't think it's it's true. You, I really can look with a kind a kind of love and really a, another woman. This this thing which is to fall in love with the, the person who acts. It works even if you're in the same sex. Right, right. Uh, have you worked with any actresses that made it apparent? Yes. I suppose you don't want to name any. Yes, names, I <laughs> did. Yes, I did. They were yes, like a little bit frustrated, frustrated because um, they thought that my my eyes were not uh, uh, enough um, enough desire, but it doesn't work like that. Okay. I don't and think so. Not that it doesn't work only like that. Right, right. I agree. Um, Fanny, you're a director yourself now. Is it alright that I call you Fanny? Sorry. Um, uh, you have uh, your second film will be premiering soon. Uh, and if I pronounce this wrong, forgive me. Cadence Obstiné. Yes. Yes. Cadence Obstiné. Okay. Um, it's your second film. Um, do you want to mention anything about that? I don't know much about it beyond the title. I don't know how to speak about uh, from. Everything, but I'm not able still I'm going to speak about uh, in three lines or three words. Sure. I can tell you that I was, uh, it was a difficult moment because uh, a very, very, very small movie without uh, money. But it was a, a great uh, experience, a great uh, relationship with the other actor and actresses. And, uh, I think it's much more uh, on, an object, more an object than a uh, movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it stars <laughs> Asia Argento. That's oui. Right, oui, oui. Um, but you've been very busy besides Bright Days Ahead. Um, I always look forward uh, eagerly to uh, what you're working on. Um, you've done a bit of Italian, a few Italian films that took a long time for me to get a hold of. Um, like uh, The Trial, it was, The Trial Begins, a 2007 film, it took forever to come over here. Um, but I also noticed you're in something called um, the Giacomo Variations with John Melfort. Ah, I just finished, but it, it, 
It is a little bit like uh, La Grande Bellezza. Okay. It was with, uh, I did this movie with um, John Malkovich and with the uh, Austrian director, but it was uh, uh, because it was my producer. And you know, finally, when you did the uh, movie on a difficulty, it came a great uh, bound between the producer and the <laughs> director. Oh, you kill each other. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, you say, okay, it's like a family. And when he asked me, do you want to be this small part uh, with John Malkovich? I was very great admirer of John Malkovich. And so I went, um, I was not deceived or disappointed. You know, sometimes you can have uh, admiration for somebody. <laughs> yeah. So overall, the actors or the writers sometimes, when you meet them, you think, well, uh, but not that time. Okay. Um, how do you go about choosing what you want to work on? Mm, like the dogs. <laughs> okay. Uh, because. <laughs> All right. Just I never. Uh, <laughs> we like your dogs uh, going through the forest. Just stop whatever you come upon. We. Uh, Everything that is uh, inside uh, when I am reading the script or the play, there is a promise, that is the promise. English word, yeah. of happiness. Okay. Mm. Only promise of happiness is something uh, not rational, is instinctive. Okay. And after uh, the encounter with the director, for me, I need two or three sentences, the way to look, the eyes, et voilà. Okay, that, that works. <laughs> um, is there, over your very career, is there anybody that um, you haven't worked with that you wanted to? It's much more, uh, if uh, we have to be modest in life, I was much more chosen that I choose. Okay. I didn't go to, hello, hello, <laughs> René, no. It's impossible. I will never ask, even to a director that I admire the much, I will never ask him, oh, I'd like to work with you. <laughs> okay. I prefer to die. Why? <laughs> because even I, some, I know other actresses, but everybody has their own life. And I, I, I'm not professional enough to build a career with, ah, this one is interesting. Uh, this one or two. I prefer like a child to receive uh, through a script or through a call a big surprise. Okay. That, that's, uh, I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I guess, is there anybody that you would consider a favorite? Like, were, was there a, a film that you said this is this is the happiest I've ever been, and this is, uh, I love what I'm doing, besides Bright Days Ahead. No, because I will say, on the opposite way, my only freedom, my only luxury, that I never did a movie that I didn't like. Even I can do bad movie, or movie without any success, forgotten movie, but when I can't say that when I choose this movie, it was because I wanted to do it. Okay. I never did something for money. I never did something for career or ambitious. It's not, ah, that bring me that. No. So, anyway, uh, I always privilege, privileged, privilege, um, uh, the present. To be happy every morning when you go to the set, mm -hmm. meet the director, meet the actor. And I must say that for les beaux jours, I don't know that I... Bright days ahead. Comment? C'est bright, bright oui. days ahead. Ah oui, les en jours beaux sont en avant. <coughs> oui. But I was very happy because it was uh, not many days. It was a, a small crew that mm -hmm. I always prefer because you are sure to see everyone every day and you love to see them even if you don't speak to them. Mm -hmm. And I love the actors. And we went on the north of France, on this uh, all this place, you know, the beach, uh, Dunkirk, that Dunkirk. that Marion loved very much about the lights, the atmosphere. 
it's a it's a beautiful looking film. It's a, a effervescent, I guess, is what I I feel the film. Like when you get you've got a headache and you put a thing. In yeah, it's something just, that it's it's very <laughs> very refreshing. It's very refreshing. Because French and for a north in France has a bad reputation because it's, it's always things that is raining, is a bad weather, and suddenly you arrive here and you see all this beautiful beach. Not like the Côte d'Azur, crowded uh, river, and la and the beautiful light, and we want on the part protected by UNESCO, because it's uh, like a patrimoine, uh, and on the beautiful days you can see the coast of England. Oh, okay, that's close then. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.